Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great day so far. Well, today I'm going to do the promised Q&A that I ask you guys on Instagram. Whether you had questions for me or about me, you could basically ask away. So yeah, today I'm going to answer them and I have a couple of your questions right here written down on paper, very old school. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Right, so the first question came from Sandra Paola underscore. And by the way, I'm really sorry in advance and I'm going to butcher a lot of your names, so I hope you guys don't mind. So Sandra Paola underscore asks, how do you style your hair? It always seems messy, but on purpose. Hope that makes sense. Sandra, it absolutely makes sense. And it's basically the only description that I can personally think of to describe my so-called hairstyle. Because I cannot, for the life of me, style my own hair. Anything that it's outside of the realms of using dry shampoo or texturizing sprays is completely and utterly unknown to me. I can't do it I'm lost so um, I like to keep my kind of hair styling routine as minimalistic and simple as possible because I don't like to fuzz around with my hair either and I feel like as soon as I have to use any kind of like curling or styling products I'm always ending up looking like a full-on 80s porn star. Me being someone, I always have to take showers at night. So um, after I took the shower and let my hair a little bit air dry, I like to grab all of my hair and put it really high into like a top bun. Sleep with it, wake up the next morning, brush my hair, zhuzh it through with my fingers a little bit. And the next step I think is basically the key to achieving a little bit more volume at the crown area, I think, is to use any kind of dry shampoo. It really does not matter what kind of dry shampoo you use, as long as you use plenty of it. What I like to do with a uh, dry shampoo is just to grab a moderately large chunk of hair and then lift it up, spritz in a little bit of the dry shampoo and then zhuzh it through with my fingers so that I distribute the product a little bit and then do that section by section it doesn't have to be neat at all so I like to do that until I'm happy with how much uh, volume I achieved and as you can already tell I have like a lion mane going on right now but um, that is pretty much it so I hope I could kind of answer your question Sandra um, if I haven't, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on how I style my hair from A to Z where you can basically see everything and what I use exactly products wise and stuff like that. So keep your eyes peeled for this one. So the next question came from Becoming Becca AU. What are your favorite TV shows to binge watch? Oh my goodness, I have so many different ones because I'm such a huge TV show addict that I feel like I have to watch at least two or three episodes a day from my favorite TV shows to not feel lost, empty, I don't know. I know it sounds super weird. But talking about the most recent shows that I've been watching, I would definitely say that I am absolutely in love and addicted to House of Cards. It has become one of my all-time favorite shows actually because it's so incredibly well written and given the fact that I think Fincher directed like the first two episodes maybe just made me watch it even more. I'm a huge Fincher fan and um, yeah I really love House of Cards. You definitely have to watch yourself but it's it's just oh my god it's so intriguing and it keeps you on your toes every single episode. The second show has to be The Walking Dead. It's the one that I'm currently watching like a crazy woman. I used to watch it when it came out a couple of years ago I think and then I just stopped and um, uh, started watching other shows but that is certainly the one that I'm currently absolutely addicted to. Vikings for sure, oh my goodness, you guys have to watch that one as well. It's so, so good. And Ragnar, which is the main protagonist, is so darn hot. So you definitely have to watch that. Um, what else? Um, what else? 
else do I like to watch? Yeah, Grey's Anatomy, old school, always have to watch that one. And I'm also someone that loves to rewatch shows as well, like The King of Queens, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Nip Tuck. Um, there are so many that I'm constantly like urging to rewatch. If you guys have suggestions on shows that I haven't mentioned and that I should definitely watch, please leave them down below in the comments so that I can check them out. I'm always, always looking for new shows. Mademoiselle underscore Hannah asks, do you also watch what you eat to benefit your skin? Well, Hannah. I don't, to be honest. I wish I would though. Um, I used to do that a while ago actually with like incorporating superfoods like chia seeds, goji berries, wheatgrass, maca powder, cocoa powder, you name it. I used to uh, make um, smoothies every single morning containing all of these um, ingredients. However, my lifestyle kind of changed and I have very little time a day sometimes to prepare all of these foods and to think out of the box and you know keeping a balance but for the most part I actually eat whatever I desire which sounds very bad I'm someone that loves to indulge into the sweets and the savory things and I do that more than often to be honest, which is definitely not good in terms of, you know, health as well. But I'm actually quite sure that that is just a phase that I'm having at the moment because I have a lot to do. I have like work and uni and YouTube and like a lot of other things as well going on in my life. But I'm sure I'm going to get back pretty soon into the swing of things with eating healthily and clean and all that jazz. So uh, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> Right, the next question came from Stacy Burry one What is your all-time favorite lipstick? That is a rather hard question, Stacy, because I have so many ones and being a makeup addict, I'm sure you can understand. But if I was to choose only one lipstick that I can also repurchase on a fairly regular basis, I think I would go for Max Patisserie lipstick because I have repurchased that one so many times. I think it's one of the most flattering looking lipsticks, like natural, nude looking lipsticks. I think this lipstick basically suits every single um, outfit, makeup, whatever you're talking about. So yeah, Max Patisserie it is. Nina on the Rocks asks, I really like your nickname by the way, Nina. I don't know if you already mentioned this, what brought you to your skin obsession? I think a lot of different but very accumulative aspects over the years especially have brought me to being just more curious and aware and especially also more cautious towards what I'm actually using on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to skincare. I think I always questioned why are there so many products dedicated to aging skin and you know lifting skin erasing wrinkles why there are still women using these products but still having saggy skin wrinkles brown spots so obviously these products are not helping for a certain reason and this is where i started to do my own research to investigate into um, the world of the science behind skincare and what are the actual proven, scientifically proven products on the market that are going to do anything to skin really. Ever since I turned 20 or 21, I'm not quite sure, I started to be super dedicated into reading as much as I could about skincare, scientific papers, beauty blogs as well, even though they're just maybe like a handful that are um, like legit skincare blogs that I really like and rely on. Ever since I've been dedicated, I have not stopped. I'm still trying to be as open, as curious towards the skincare world and yeah. Sarah Elisa John asks, what's your all-time favorite lipstick? And if you could only have five makeup products for the rest of your life, which makeup products would you pick? I think the first part of the question was already answered before. I would definitely go for Max Patisserie lipstick. As for the five makeup products that I would pick, I would definitely include a black mascara because that is an absolute must and a no-brainer for me having very fair lashes so I would definitely go for mascara to give my eyes at least a little bit of attention and 
just something. Otherwise, I feel like I look like a mole. Number two would be an eyeliner, also in black. Um, just to further enhance my eye shape as well as, you know, having the chance to accentuate different eye shapes as well. Number three would be a blush because honestly, I feel super naked without any blush on my face whatsoever because I think it gives me a little bit of a structure to my face and enhances my cheekbones. So blush for sure. Number four would be a lipstick, a nude shade for sure because I don't like to go for two bold shades on a day-to-day -day basis, so a nude lipstick. And lastly, I would go for either a brow pencil or like a tinted eyebrow gel just to make them look a little bit thicker as well as neater. Question number seven came from underscore Anya Known. What's your favorite TV series? And if you had to use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Holy cow, I think when it comes to my favorite TV show, I would most likely go for Buffy the Vampire Slayer because I used to grow up with that show and I have so many amazing memories connecting to that particular show, so I'd definitely go for Buffy. As for my favorite makeup brand that I were to use for the rest of my life, I think I would go for a brand that offered the most variety in terms of textures. Not so much colors. I'm not into bright, crazy colors at all. I like to keep it safe with neutrals. So I think I would either go for Stila because I adore their cream blushes and I have every single color. I love their approach towards makeup and I also love their, um, their eyeshadows and the palettes that they came out with. Or quite the opposite, which would be Illamasqua. Same here, love their cream blushes, but I especially love the creative and very innovative approach towards makeup. It's very out of the box and um, just very different and this is what I like. So yeah, either Stila or Illamasqua for sure. Jessie.1989 I see your name all over my accounts, by the way, especially Instagram, so hey girl, you're the sweetest. Um, what is your favorite book? P.S. You are the best YouTuber ever. You are so nice every single time. Thank you so much. Um, I think my favorite book of all time would be a classic. I would go for Alice in Wonderland. I love the craziness. I love how psychedelic it is. I used to read this book multiple times um, when I was younger. My mom used to read it to me. Again, I connect a lot of emotional memories towards this book and it kind of resonates with me a lot actually. So yeah, Alice in Wonderland. So these were all of the questions for today. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't worry, I'm going to do more Q and A's in the future um, if your question was not answered. However, if you have like one burning question that needs to be answered, leave it down below in the comments and I'm trying to do my best to answer it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel to help me out. I appreciate every single one of you. I wish you guys a beautiful day as always and until we meet again.